the, the washing, you were very hungover. Oh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Tell Tony Foster that story. <laughs> <laughs> All their stories are really cool, though, Graham. When I was teaching, <laughs> which is what this show is based on, I, I went home one weekend, and I was in my 30s. I was probably 33 years of age. I went home to see my uh, mother, and then I went back, and while I was at home, my mother did my washing for me, because I was only 33. <laughs> <laughs> and then I went back, and on the, on the Sunday night, I got really drunk, uh, and then I, I went for a curry, and then the next day I went into school. <laughs> I'm going to. I went into school, and it was a school in Slough, and it was a, quite a rough school, but they had a really brilliant hearing-impaired department, so there were he hearing-impaired kids who, uh, you know, struggled. Mm. They were... They were really looked after in the school. Anyway, I was really hungover. I went there, and about break time, I felt really uncomfortable. I thought, something's not right, you know? <laughs> so I went to the toilet, and I pulled my trousers down, and uh, uh, some of my mother's knickers had got... <laughs> had got mixed up in the wash she'd done. <laughs> and I was wearing my mother's underwear. <laughs> and I went, oh, God, oh, no! Oh, I remember going, oh, you loser, this is... <laughs> Such a low point, you <laughs> fucking loser. <laughs> and, then, <laughs> and then the curry and the booze the curry and the booze kicked in from the night before. <laughs> so I I I did like a fecal Jackson Pollock. <laughs> <laughs> and I started I started going, oh god, not this! Not this as well. Oh Jesus. So I cleaned myself up and I pulled my mother's pants back up. <laughs> and I went back into the um, classroom and I saw one of the hearing impaired kids just looking at me like this. <laughs> and that's when I remembered that my, I had a microphone directly... <laughs> Too easy. Here we go. So maybe Mandan isn't that far-fetched. <laughs> <laughs>